This is the Cairo ironclad ship. It's in Vicksburg, Mississippi at the Vicksburg National Cemetery and Battlefield. And this, um, this is an amazing, amazing historical artifact. I read a lot about the ironclads. I've never seen one in person until now. In my wildest dream, I would have never believed they were that big. That thing is huge. Got the iron plates on it. <laughs> this is almost breathtaking. I mean, that is a huge ship. Look at these massive paddle wheels on this ironclad boat. Those are the smokestacks. They were actually wooden smokestacks. These are reproductions here. The uh, a sister ship actually knocked down the smokestacks whenever the boat sank because they didn't want enemy ships to know where it was. They, uh, the original wood is solid oak beams. I mean, solid oak. Tremendous beams. But when you're looking at the, the new original, the frame is trying to hold it together. It, it's all laminated. It's so much easier to laminate and, and shape your beams than it is to find original oak trees big enough to hand who on beams out the size you need. But uh, they've done a fantastic job on salvage in this thing. I mean, all they got was pieces. When it came out of the water, it just came out in pieces. But uh, the stuff they found on it, pistols, swords, knives, uh, utensils, uh, personal stuff that belonged to the soldiers in the museum, people need to come see this. They definitely need to come see this. I mean, an iron clay, the old timbers alone would be hundreds of tons and you clad it in iron, and you've got these cannons here. I know they're over a ton of piece, solid metal wheels. And this thing was, and then you have the motor steam engine. And this boy was heavy. So it that's the heavy. steam engine right there? This, yeah, this is boy. You know, the steam engine's over there. I got a feeling this is water tank, so I'm not sure, Kate. The motor is young. She had the, the, the connection to the, uh, the uh, pedal. God, this wow. is something. This is something. It, it is. I can't imagine a ship this big and this heavy floating. <laughs> I know. That with all that steel and stuff in it. Yeah. I'm sure that it was quite a wonder in its day. Oh my gosh, you know? yeah. I'm sure it was. It's really, really out of this this must be the water tanks. Yes, these are. That little plaque <coughs> right there talks about it. Oh, here you go. Thank you. Yeah. Excuse me, it's We fed the pistons. We fed the uh, Look at this. Look at this. Look at the size of that piston. Oh, my God. <coughs> this thing must have weighed 500,000 tons. This is really so. But uh, <laughs> I bet it was a it was a miracle back in the day, a walking miracle. <laughs> Did you see inside? I think they got that. Well, actually, it's seventy. The paddle wheel. Remember, you said it was on the back of the boat. Yes, sir. It was inside the boat. Yes. Under the boat. It, 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 it paddled, the, um, it paddled under the boat. The rotors are in the back. Uh, yeah, yeah. I thought the paddle wheel was on back. No, I meant towards the back. Yeah. I didn't mean to. Sorry. You know, My apologies. No, no. Your old steamship was always on the outside the back. So I, I pictured this. But that dead gum thing was in. Had a hole cut in the bottom of the Oh, boat. you were thinking like the fairy ones. Yeah. The ones in the back. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, but look at the size of them balls. Mm. Goodness. 
Yeah, did you actually see the thing that actually the pistons for yeah. the actual rotor? Yeah. I, this is really something. Now, this had to be the steering? I would assume this would be the steering for the rotor. No, anchor like probably. This yeah. That this is yeah. probably yeah. anchor. Yeah, it is. Wedge. Yeah, wedge for the, for the uh, anchor. The crew haul heavy lines, move guns, pull in oh, the Oh, anchor. move the guns. Apparently you have a lot of snatch blocks. Steve you know, tire the ballers powered the capstan, they call it. They, uh, the original wood is solid oak beams. I mean solid oak. Tremendous beams. But when you're looking at the, the new original, the frame is trying to hold it together. It, it's all laminated. It's so much easier to laminate and, and shape your beams than it is to find original old trees big enough to hand who on beams out the size you need. But uh, they've done a fantastic job on salvage in this thing. I mean, all they got was pieces. When it came out of the water, it just came out with pieces. But uh, the stuff they found on it, pistols, swords, knives, uh, utensils, uh, personal stuff that belonged to the soldiers in the museum, people need to come see this. They definitely need to come see this.